What's going on everybody? Back at it again with another review. Welcome to Vapor's Alley everybody. Uh, so yeah, I got another tank review for you guys. Um, this one here was given to me by a good friend of mine to uh, let me put it through the ropes here and see how this one performs. Um, I actually really enjoy this tank. Um, hopefully you guys uh, do too or you guys, when you guys think about purchasing it, you'll enjoy it. This one is the Be God Elite. RVTA. Um, I'm digging this thing. Um, I actually have, uh, I guess you would say the version one to this tank would be the Pro Trick tank, the BGAD Pro Trick tank RDTA, which I actually really enjoy. But what they did with this tank here to kind of switch it up from this tank, which I'll show you in the up close and personals here, um, I think it's actually a good move. So, Enough about that. Let's go ahead and get up close and personal with this uh, V God Elite RDTA. Okay, guys, there she is, the V God Elite RDTA. Um, the one thing I could say that they probably could have done a little bit better was the packaging. Um, it's actually very informative and all, but I just don't. I'm not a very big fan of these paper packagings. But who cares about that? They're just coming out of the packaging anyways, right? <laughs> but. It gives you everything, all the information you need to know right here. The Black Elite RDTA Shield. The top mount, one-way fill port, which is actually really cool. It's this thing right here. Um, kind of gives you a little sneak peek at the deck too here. So, uh, vacuum wicking system, hybrid friendly. Gold plated 510 pin. Uh, 24 millimeter in diameter. Uh, blah 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 <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it now it is obviously gonna look like it's been used because um, like I said this is a used tank it's not brand new so uh, they actually give you all the typical stuff screwdrivers extra glass all your goodies as far as grub screws oh, this one here is empty like I said this was my buddy's, so it's not brand spanking new from the factory here we go a nice little peak insulator, some, uh, some, you know, typical gasket stuff like that. And here's the tank. Now, I, I do like the design here, what they did with the mouthpiece. Kind of makes it a little bit more comfortable. And it's unique. It's different, you know, different when you're vaping on it. Pretty close to being, as far as everything else goes, pretty much the same style uh, airflow and design as far as what they did with the uh, the top cap sections here with the nice little notches they got going on there that you see there between the two same same pretty much style except for they just changed out the mouthpieces and here's the deck which is really really nice what they did there let me see if I can focus this in a little bit better there we go Got you those nice little twisty, you know, uh, twisty style clamps here. And they got a little Phillips head on the top of them. So if you wanted to use your screwdriver, you can do that. Uh, very easy, actually, to, to coil up. As you can see, the deck is actually pretty spacey there. Nice juice flow holes here that your wicking goes down into and what's really really cool about this new setup is that this right here is where you fill your juice at right down the center of this this pin here which is really really cool on the old version you actually had a side fill like that there with a velocity style deck on it which wasn't too bad wasn't too in my opinion that's all my personal opinion everybody else is different I've heard mixed things about this, people doing it through here and they hated it. But that's all, you know, that's all subjective. Everybody has their their likes and don't likes. Um, but this here makes it so much easier. You know, they kind of fanned away from the, all those comments about that side fill and just, all right, we'll fix that and we'll put a, a tube down the center of it and make it work to fill it, which was really, really good. All right. 
And, you know, I'm not going to get down to breaking this whole thing apart. You guys pretty much get the idea on how to do that. Um, pretty standard stuff when it comes to these RDTAs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to wick this thing up, which is really, really simple. I got some new juice in today, too, that I wanted to try out on it. So, I mean, that's pretty much the basics to it. There's not much to it at all. Everything is super smooth with this stuff. Um, the gaskets hold on really nicely. Everything fits nice, nice, nice and snug. So no issues there or complaints. All right. So I'm going to leave the build in there that I got right now. It's just a dual fuse clapton. Uh, I think it she ohms out to being around 0 0.9, 0 0.19 or so. Uh, let's go ahead and put some cotton in her. And with these RDTAs too, or pretty much any other RDTA, the nice thing is that you can cut these leads right down to the, almost to the very end and shove that whole wicking all that cotton right down in there or you can even cut it even closer and just let it rise at the, at the you know just let it seat right inside the top of those juice holes and every time you vape on it and you're tilting it it juices up for you and you got more juice capacity but I like to keep them you know three quarters of the way long from what I got there nice just a little snugness like always with every every wicking I do And like I said, about three quarters of the way long, I like to keep these. This one here, I'll trim a little bit because sometimes when they're a little bit fat like that, okay, it's a little bit tougher to get down in those those uh, juice holes there. So I just like to trim them a little, a little thinner, not not as not so wide, just a little bit. Look underneath here too. Okay, just like that. Pretty much just cutting off the clippings where I twist with my fingers there. The, the very tails there, they twist with my fingers. And that those look pretty good. Okay. Comb them out a little bit and I'll trim it a little bit more just to get all that compressed stuff out of there still so you get a better uh, flow efficient with the juice and like I said Mike Vapes actually turned me on to the way he does this stuff when he's combing them out so it's actually a really good technique to use Okay, just like that. Bring these back in a little bit so they kind of stay together when putting it through those holes. Okay. Just like that. And then I'll go ahead and kind of fold it over. Shove it right on in there. I mean, you don't want to grab too much to where you're actually pulling it from this side over, you know, but grab yourself a good amount and put it right on in there. that same on the other side and if it seems like it's way too tight on getting through those juice holes then just trim a little bit more pull it back out trim a little bit more off the sides of the cotton and then do it again and you should be just fine You got one 
you know, one piece of cotton that's a little longer on the other side than the other, that's not a big deal. You can either trim it or leave it the way it is, just as long as you get them inside that hole. And there's um, no gaps, because when you go to vape on it and you tilt it, it will leak into. So you just want to make sure you have enough and it's not too thin. Okay, just like that. Easy peasy. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to, what I'm going to put in it today is uh, Drip More Watermelon. Premium brand, I guess it says up top here, 60 ml. Fortified e-liquid is what it says on there. I'll give this stuff a shot. It smells pretty good. Just like any other tanks or RTAs, RDTAs that you uh, that you build, saturate the cotton really nice, just like that. And then you just take your tip of your dripper or whatever you got and fill away. You know, keep yourself a good amount of pressure in there so it doesn't pop out on you, of course. I mean, that's really convenient the way they did that. I, I'm actually digging that very much. It is a little bit slower because of the compression and everything to fill, but it's not bad. I just take it out a little bit to take that compression away. And also what you can do, I'll show you after I'm done filling it here. A little bit more. And there you go. She's all nice and filled. Also what you can do to help out with that, just be careful when you're filling it, not to go past it, is stick your, you know, your pen or uh, needle or toothpick or whatever, you're, or an Allen key, and just open up a gap here in here, just a little one, not much, to kind of re relieve the pressure so when you're filling it, it releases some air out this way. And then when after you're done filling, just go back and kind of fluff it out a little bit, the cotton. Okay, back over that hole a little bit, and you should be just fine. Put the top cap on. Boom, bam, she's ready to vape. All right, let's bring it back up top and uh, give you my thoughts on her. All right, guys, so that was the V-God Elite RDTA. Got it sitting on the Tesla here. Not too bad of a little match part. Um, so, again, another RDTA with a, a bunch of pros to it. Um, I love the juice fill option you guys got there from the top there. That's, that is a really nice adjustment uh, from the, you know, that you... Uh, did away with compared to the the V God Pro Trick Tanky got here, which I still the side fill is not bad in my opinion. This just makes it more easier and convenient. You don't have to sit there on the side like this, hold it. You can just hold it straight up and down and pour it right on in there, which is really cool. Um, the twist uh, uh, clamp styles for the deck for, for your leads. I mean, sorry. Um, really nice adjustment. Really nice a touch to the, uh, the RDTA, which I really like makes it gives it a little bit more room to work with to put your coils in um it is when you get juice on it it is a juice magnet because that sucker it seems like you can wipe it down as many times as you want unless you've got a microfiber cloth to wipe it off it just seems like the juice sticks on there and keeps it nice and polished look <laughs> it feels all geeky but that's really more subjective than anything that's just personal thing I mean I hate having juice all over my tanks and who wouldn't really um, other than that um, I can't find a, a con that's bad with this thing uh, the airflow is super super smooth and the flavor you get off of this thing is amazing too it's definitely a great spot-on flavor 
definitely better than the version one, I would have to say. Okay, well, let's give it a rip. Cloud production, also you get an A plus cloud production with it too, in my opinion, along with that flavor. So definitely a, a good, good combination here. And that's a 0.19. Jesus, getting cloudy in here. <laughs> 0.19, running at 70, 75 watts, and I think that's really comfortable. Right around my range, I like it. I'm sure that if I were to put a, give it a little bit more power into it, that it's going to bring out the flavor. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring it up to 87 watts. Yep, more flavor. Definitely a warmer vape, which is a little bit more warmer than what I like. Um, but the flavor's there. Spot on. And it's a chucker, man, I tell you. So, two thumbs up on the Elite RDTA. Good job, V God. I'm digging it very, very much. Um, I can't, I cannot place a con on that thing. I mean, if I really had to put a con on it, different style or different color uh, top caps, possibly, if I wanted to. I mean, again, that's just my opinion. Um, maybe if they change up the different color top caps, maybe possibly that would, that would have been cool. Or maybe even the top mouthpiece here unscrew so you can change the cap pieces to what you want or to what different colors you want. You know, I guess that could possibly just be a subjective type of con there. I mean, it really doesn't affect me much because I everything I have is mainly gunmetal or black, so I like the black versions and stuff like that. But just kind of thinking of everybody else here and what they mean. Some people like variety of colors or bright colors. Um, and, you know, having to be able to change that to the kind of two-tone it would be really cool. Uh, love the build deck as far as the, the space you get to work with. So you can actually put in a really decent size build in that uh, and have plenty of room to work with your, your, your wicking. Uh, so definitely a, a, a plus on that and your your gasket set up as far as for the top get going on It's really nice kind of just locks right in place there and not have to worry about it Fumbling around or coming off mysteriously. So that's a really good really good pro And it just looks really damn cool nice and nice and sleek looking and everything All right, guys. I know it's a short review. I mean, it, it, RDTAs usually pretty are pretty standard stuff, uh, unless they have all different types of interchangeable decks and stuff like that to them. But this is pretty standard to, to take it apart. Uh, there was really no need to for me to break it all down for you guys. Um, so if you like the video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. Be strong. Vape on. Peace.